Have you ever gotten angry with someone over something very small and blown it out of proportion and later realized that you could have had a better reaction? You see, anger is always about something that has happened in the past. What you're really getting angry about is something which does not exist in the present moment, but only in your mind. Have you realized that when you get really angry on someone, it creates a lot of unpleasantness within yourself? You see, anger is like a double-sided sword which makes you believe that you're hurting the other person, but in reality, you're only hurting yourself. So it's like that fire which first burns within and then on the outside. Any emotion is a habit and not a natural process. It's just that you've been doing it for such a long time that you've started to believe that it's a natural process. And personal mastery or emotional mastery is not a subject that we were taught at school. So how are you going to generate the emotion that you want to feel? You see, an infant is only born with two emotions. One is love and the other one is fear. And fear is of two types for the infant. One is the fear of falling and the other is fear of loud noises. Every other behavior is a learned habit. So how do you deal with this emotion? The first thing that you do is bring your awareness into the present moment because with better awareness, you can take better actions which will enable you to produce better results in terms of behavior. This is not something that you can do overnight, but if you practice over and over again, you will be able to generate control over your emotions. So I'm gonna give you a simple exercise that you can practice at home. The first thing that you do is identify the triggers and patterns that make you angry. Focus on the situations which fuel that emotion within you. On a different piece of paper, write down your most predominant emotional behavior and the different situations associated with them. Then evaluate for yourself, was there a better way of handling it? Write down five ways that you could have done things differently. Make a reminder note of your action responses and pin it up at prominent places at home and work. The next time a similar situation presents itself, you will be better equipped to handle it. Remember, emotion is a habit and not a consequence. I'll see you soon.